Okay, so I wanted to do a quick comparison of the Bumble Ride Indy Twin Stroller versus the Baby Jogger City Select Stroller because I originally had the Indy Twin and then purchased the City Select and when I was researching, I wasn't sure like how they were going to compare size-wise as far as like width and length and how they would fold and fit in my minivan. So in case you are also trying to compare those two, I thought I would show you. So first of all, let's look at the width. Let's see here. Turn them like this. The, obviously, the Bumble Ride ND Twin is a lot bigger than the City Select. The City Select is still very wide compared to a lot of single strollers, but compared to this double jogger, it is not quite as large. Um, I'll put them back to back so you can maybe see. There's maybe like four to five inches difference. Um, so it's not a massive difference. It's not quite half of the stroller, but it's not as large. Lengthwise, um, the City Select, depending on how you have your seats arranged, is longer than the um, Bumble Ride Indy Twin. Now, if you just have one seat on the City Select, then they're basically the exact same length. If you have the second seat on and you have it backwards so that this part is sticking out, you can even lay it down all the way. That would be the longest you would get your City Select. It is quite a bit longer. So if you're used to pushing this, which is not super long, and then you start pushing this, it's gonna be a little bit of a learning curve. But again, that depends on how you have your seats arranged. Because if you have this seat turned around so they're facing forward, then the length is about the same. It's just the width that is going to be different. So here's the difference fold-wise. When I um, fold my City Select, I take both of the seats off and fold the frame, then lay the seats on top. I don't fold it all as one unit because it's much more compact if you don't fold it all as one unit. If you fold it all as one, it's going to be a little bit bigger, but the way I fold it, here's the difference. Um, and I know that's probably kind of hard to tell. I'll also take a picture of each one folded up and put in the back of my van so you can kind of see how much they take up. So here's the Bumble Ride Indy Twin in the back of my minivan, and here's the Baby Jogger City Select folded with the seats off, so in multiple pieces. The Bumble Ride obviously takes up more space, no, not only because it's bigger, but also because it's all one piece, so you can't really finagle it. Baby Jogger is still large, it does take up space, but it's not nearly as big as the Indy Twin. Okay, so handlebar wise, the Indy Twin has two buttons that you push and the handlebar can go up or it can go down, several different settings. Um, I keep it on like the second to highest setting for myself. I'm five foot seven. The City Select has a telescoping handlebar. So you just squeeze in the middle and you push it in for the shortest. And you pull it out for the longest or you can have it any, put my foot on it, anywhere in between. So whatever feels good to you as far as the handlebar. Um, I do prefer the handlebar on this one as far as ease of pushing it in. If I have my five-year-old is helping me push, then I go ahead and make the handle smaller. And then if he's off walking, then I pull it out to fit myself. This one is a little more complicated because, especially because I have a console here. If I have the handlebar all the way up, then my drinks are going to like dump over. Um, so I keep it where it's relatively flat. And to see all the features of the Bumble Ride Indy Twin, or the Baby Jogger City Select, I have separate videos on each of those, so you can look at each one and you can see um, the differences and the features and that kind of stuff. But as far as a side-by-side -side width, length, heaviness comparison, um, that's pretty much it. Oh, as far as heaviness goes, they are both similar weights. This one just seems lighter because you can collapse it in multiple pieces, take the seats off and just lift the frame and then the seats. This has got to be lifted all in one, so it is quite heavy. Um, um, so yeah, check out the other videos that I made to see the full features of each of these strollers separately, but there's a quick comparison so you can see them side by side.